Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is January 25th of 2023. And it's about 12.30 a.m. in the morning. I don't think I'll be talking very long. My voice is uh, giving out again. I forgot to say anything about the problem when I saw the uh, doctor the other day. I'm totally exhausted uh, with family type of things going on, with uh, everything that's going on. And with the things that I have to do, there's a lot of little things that I have to do. You wouldn't think that I have to do anything. I'm 81 and I don't work. But there's things going on here all the time. Um, I have uh, two priority packages to go out. Um, let's see. No, this priority package, okay, this is going out to a, a fan of Howard's notebook. He's been around for years. He, he was around before there was a YouTube and further back than that. And he's always jumped in occasionally with uh, some type of assistance or help or answers to questions or uh, like the other day he saw me totally messing up a uh, review on a uh, case for a cell phone and had pointed out and corrected it to me. This is a return going to Amazon. They'll pick it up tomorrow. And what do you think this is, by the way? All right, is anybody there psychic? Can I send some psychic signals? What do you think this is? What could this be? This is the, what's the name of it? Oh, Moto G uh, cell phone. The, uh, uh, script one. I really liked it. I still really like it. I like the large, larger size. I like the pen and everything, and everything worked well except I just, and I, I don't have a lot of, you would think I have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. Um, going in for the cameras, like one of the features is, uh, I don't think it showed up, but one of the, uh, you know, sky view where you can see the stars and that kind of stuff. I couldn't figure out how to get to any of um, any of those things. I don't think I showed it. I made a uh, the first video on that uh, going outside at night, and I with you know a recording, and I couldn't see how to adjust the. Uh, aperture or anything like, you know, anything like that. And anyway, I'm, you know, I'm returning it. And I may regret it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I already regret it. Anyway, that's going back to Amazon. Uh, today, well, my son has, has a lot of, you know, he's grown. He has a lot of problems. Um, he invited somebody in, well, one thing, part of the, you know, some of the problems that he has is some of us have problems with this other way and then some people have problems the other way. 
And his problem is he just, does, you know, he doesn't care about how his desk is or how much dust or he doesn't care what falls on the floor or he just doesn't care. And, you know, there'll be money, not, I don't want to get robbed or anything. We don't have any money, by the way. But, you know, there'll be money just sometimes sitting on the floor or next to a, a cushion on the chair. Uh, there'll be things just to go to the, his billfold will be laying on the floor or be, he doesn't know where it is. You know, he has to look for it. And just, it's just, I mean, I'm not, I mean, look at me, you know, but I can't live, you know, that way. I joke, you know, when I want to go over and have to, uh, you know, relate to him that I joke that his room is a, you know, a hazmat area. So, speak hey. speak of the devil. Yep. Hey, you mind if I mess with your uh, electronic safe for a little bit, just play around with it? Uh, yeah, I do. Don't mess oh, with it. Okay, I won't. Because the less you know about it, the uh, probably the better. Okay. Then I won't accuse you of something when it breaks uh. or something. All right. Anything you want to say to the YouTube world? Uh. Me, my dad, mom, Darlene, James, Howard, Jesus Christ, all of our friends out there. We're going to be dreaming every day about what we're going to lock up in our safe to hide our little secrets. That sounds right. So anyway, I got a couple packages going out by the, well, Amazon's picking up one and the other's going out by, uh, Priority mail. Uh, next thing on the agenda, I guess, is well, I was just telling Jimmy earlier today because he came in and asked for uh, a password or something. I've got there's four four notebooks on the desk. I start on a notebook and then I switch to another notebook and I there's notes written in some of these things and I need to get them all in one place so I have one notebook that I can pick up and find the things that I need so I'm not I'm not organized when it comes to uh, networks maybe that's why I'm not a fan of uh, Microsoft where they have all those excellent programs and I really can't I can't you know, I can't get organized enough in my head to you know utilize them the way they should so and probably somebody like these days shouldn't be writing anything on paper. Should be doing it all online. So, let's see what else. I mentioned, or Jimmy did, that I got a safe in. And it's uh, it's okay. I wanted to get in to put some things, you know, in it so I knew where they were. And... Uh, and kind of organize it a little bit in, in that area, you know. But I'm not sure. That's what I need to do with that, well, like on one notebook so that there's, so when I need to look up our Wi-Fi uh, ID or something like that when Jimmy needs it or when I need it or something, I need, I end up going through like three or four notebooks just to find it on a page, you know. That stuff all needs to be together. Uh, my arthritis is hurting me like crazy. I got a bunch of new pains. I haven't taken any of my medication today. I need to start on that. It's, yeah, oh, there we go. Jimmy shouldn't volunteer to do that because the person that's got arthritis could use that all day long. <laughs> See you later, James. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. So, I take naproxen for the uh, pain, and it works. It works well. Uh, my voice is giving me some problems here, so I'm gonna kind of cut this off. I think at 15 minutes, so it's 10 minutes now. So you got to put up with me for three or more minutes, 
maybe I'll think of uh, some of the things that I wanted to say. Anyway, I'm back to using the Pixel uh, 4a and and as you know, I for the uh, uh, Moto G. Uh, stylus or whatever I just got that new uh, case in I'm just gonna put it with I got see these things in the back <laughs> those things there's one more than that's one's hidden I think so there's one two three four what's it one two three four is that all must be some there's a there's a whole bunch of things in there uh, parts things I thought I would need, things I've moved from place to place and never used them. And I end up buying, you know, rather than dig through those things, I just go and buy a new one and then I come home and find the thing that I just bought. Uh, got some little containers too. Those are worse because they're small and I put them someplace and they've got stuff in there. I'm sure you probably do too. I've got a bunch of cables that I'll never use uh, for hooking up multiple computers, for hooking up. I've never used uh, for audio, you know, the uh, light, the uh, where the transmission is by the light and the thing. I, I don't know how many of those cables I've got. <laughs> so never used those. I finally, but the other day I threw a few of those away. Uh, a long time ago I did sell some things on eBay. I never really had any trouble with eBay. Uh, well, I think everybody has a little bit of trouble sometimes. I never really had much trouble. I did, uh, I did sell, I did receive to review to, uh, Commercial, commercial walkie-talkies. Now they would do the amateur radio bands, but I'm not sure that they were approved for the amateur radio bands. They have to be approved for the frequencies. But anyway, I got I received two. I sent one off to another to a ham radio operator to, uh, you know, for free, and I sent it off to him to uh, review. He never reviewed it, and uh, I sold the other one. I think I might have told this story. I uh, I told the other I sold the other one, and it was a German I believe who was living in France, or maybe the other way around. And the uh, thing went through customs from going from here went through customs uh, customs everything was okay. Went to the post office, you know, close to where he was living, and they told him that he would have to come to the post office. And so he went, by the way, this this guy was really, you know, nice. He kicked in extra money for shipping and stuff like that. And, uh, or else I'd have come out really, you know. Uh, uh, he, um, anyway, he went to the post office and the post office said, uh, you, you know, we can't give this to you because this radio is not authorized to be, you know, used in, I think it was France. And uh, so it will have to be, I, 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 they probably gave me some kind of options. I'm not sure what the options were, so. He contacted me and so then, you know, when it went to, it sounded, it looked like it was gonna go, you know, come back okay. And it went and got delayed at the post office there in France and leaving to go to the United States, they would not ship it with, uh, uh, you know, battery in it. And so they contacted me. They took, they sent it, instead of an email or whatever, they sent a thing through the mail telling me, you know. I And I told them, just keep the, 
you know, do what you want to with the battery. Don't bother to ship it to me, you know, some other way, by boat or whatever. Just keep it. And they sent the radio back. And I refunded the guy's money, but he did, he paid extra for shipping and things like that. So he was nice about the whole thing. But, um, I re I got, I've got where I really, I had, didn't really have any bad experiences. I saw, I used to sell a few things on, on eBay and it got where, and sometimes I would list things on eBay and I know I listed it, you know, not for sale outside the United States or something. And for some reason, I guess I was doing something wrong. People would be, you know, wanting me to send it someplace. And if stuff going, even from the United States to Canada, there's a delay at the border a lot. And those people would be contacting me, you know, oh, it's been such and such, but they were like, they lived in Canada, you know, they should know how their system works. <laughs> uh, by the way, I've watched, I think some on YouTube, some uh, videos of uh, the Canadian uh, border, you know, service there or whatever. <laughs> Looks like they're pretty sharp and got it down pretty, you know, pretty good. And they know the questions to ask and uh, they know when they see certain things and it's pretty, uh, but anyway, so that's my, that's my two cents. Thank you very, I'm going to go maybe drink some hot cocoa from my throat. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm not feeling all that great, uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, uh, please. Thank you very much.